In this video, we're going to look at how to set up an FTP image transfer in a Matrix 320 scanner, but this will also apply to other Matrix models. The first thing we're going to need to do is set up our FileZilla server. Click on server and then go to configure. Then go down to users, create a new user called guest and set the password to be data logic. We now need to tell the FileZilla server where we want to store our files. The native path on the laptop I'm using is going to be C users data logic desktop FTP, which is this folder here. We're then going to add a virtual path, which will be forward slash FTP, and this will be used later. Once that's configured, we can now go into DL code. In order to set up the FTP transfer, we need to add a few things. In number three, data formatting, we first need to click add new channel and then select reader FTP client. In the remote address field, we're going to enter the IP address of our FileZilla server. In this example, it is 192.168.0.66. The port number is 21. The username is guest and the password is data logic as we set up in our FileZilla server. We're also going to untick the passive mode option. Now that we've created our FTP client, we can now add an image saving condition. This will allow us to tell it where we want the images to be sent and also which images we want to be sent. Our image destination is going to be set to remote and we're gonna to jump to the bottom and we're gonna send the image to our FTP client. We want to send the images after the analysis has been completed. We're going to use a JPEG in this example, and I'm going to set the quality to 80% just to save on some disk space. In our remote folder field, we're going to enter forward slash FTP, which is what we had configured in FileZilla server. Next, we need to decide when we want to save these images. Typically, the smart selection is okay for most applications, but you can choose whether to do good read or no read, whether there is a code present or not. Once this has been set up, we can then save this to our scanner. We can now go back to the main menu of DL code to start the process. As you can see, FileZilla Server is actually receiving images from the scanner. And we can now go into our FTP folder and you can see that those images are now starting to appear. This concludes this video on how to set up FTP image transfer on a matrix scanner.